Bishop. We are from Tapas. So now we are going to talk about our latest uh, role project, the ice cream store. store. You want to know what we did in our ice cream store project? Now that's the story. So once we had a client. Our whole class, we both are in the same class. We had a client that was called, his name was Ashish. And he had a, an ice cream store in Rajasthan. But he wanted to open one in Bangalore. So that was the problem. So no one was able to figure out what to do. Then, then we, we all said, yeah, let's do it. And then he hired us, us and for 100 rupees, I guess. And then we had, then we had to make an ice cream store project. He, and we were going to help him in making the ice cream store. So this is all we have done. Karo, can you give a little details about this? Yeah. Place? So now when you do it, first you, when you are thinking about the logo, you need to think about the color scheme. A color scheme is that different colors mean different things. Uh, it has to be logo. color schemes are very important. There should not be too much of this color or, or there should be very less of this color or you should not even put this color like that. So now let me talk about it. Now red. Red is uh, the meaning of red in logos. It loves. Uh, it means love. So now orange. Orange is a very bright color and it should be used little. Not too much bright should come in a logo. Now yellow. Uh, it's also a bright color like orange. But if you uh, mix yellow and orange together, it will like uh, kill itself. If you want to mix together, it won't look nice. They start fighting against each other. So what I thought of the color scheme? If all the colors are very different. So uh, we wanted uh, to make it simple. So we have used orange. Uh, you can't see it, but black and uh, uh, pink and red to make it an uh, ice cream shape. One more team has uh, decided just black and blue would be nice. So now uh, my partner is going to tell uh, what is a logo for you. We have logos to recognize the company. If, and for example, every time I go to school, I see a company called Photo, but with the wrong spelling. F O T O. That's the wrong spelling of photo. And there's another. And imagine there's another company with photo, and they don't. And imagine logos were not invented. Then what will happen? And if one photo is is a supermarket, and the other is photographing, then what can you do? If you want to take a photo to go to visa for a visa in a country, then if you go go to photo in the supermarket and ask, what will they think? So logos help you recognize better. Like if you just see a yellow and you in just a snap, you you'll know it's McDonald's easily. So now a soft a soft run. Uh, this soft run is how you want the front of the store to look. So this is how we wanted our soft runs to look. Now let's taglines. Taglines are fun way to say the name. Like green green. We, uh, so our uh, tagline is we sell happiness. The stand of the name of what your what we do in our shop. Means ice cream in your store. So now uh, after tagline we started working on our uh, stove uh, inside layer. Inside layout is how you want the inside to look. So there are four steps for a inside layout. First, you start with a bubble diagram, which is just a, a wall rectangle with bubbles as how where the rooms and what you want. Next, you move to a, a little more a detailed one, not very detailed, but little. You add a walls and a door. So next you do the detailing, you show the door, you put the furniture, how you want the kitchen.
in space how you want. Then last step, you 3D it. You make it 3D. So uh, now this is uh, uh, our uh, our team. What? We wanted a stage here, a uh, storage uh, staff room and a uh, play play arena for uh, more entertainment. Then uh, advertising. So we have made made three po one poster our team and it is and uh, then uh, like this ice cream special get cotton candy on so cotton candy is uh, one of our uh, candy uh, candy ice cream flavors so uh, for 200 rupees for five days because it's 500 for five days we have given an offer to make reduce 300 rupees so and how it would look it has little cotton candy and uh, the cone so then next is questionnaire a questionnaire is when you uh, to uh, people you send out questions like how you want it to be so now which flavor do you like the most so we know how, which is the most uh, thing uh, people want so uh, now it's vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, mango, uh, black, uh, currant, and pista. She what likes. What was uh, the purpose of the questionnaire? The purpose of a questionnaire is to get to know how what your customers would like. How would you like, and you can get the ideas what the public likes. Okay, and how many questionnaires did you get filled out? Um, thirty. So now, and what did you do with the information that you received from the question? Uh, so the most favorite we kept uh, in the top, and we increased the uh, price a little. Uh, so because uh, people will like, so uh, they would want that. Thank you. So now we're gonna be talking about what we really like in our ice cream products, starting from your curry. So what I liked in the project was the 3D model. When we made it, we didn't see it in paper. In made in paper, we took cardboard and made it 3D. That was my favorite part and doing teamwork, having this much to do. So that is my favorite part. Now we shall go to the first. My favorite part was making the logo, the color scheme and the posters. Actually, I have nothing to say. It was all just so fun and great. First, in the ice cream store project, the first beginning, I felt a little like, what should we do? Are we going to make a 3D model? I didn't know it would be like the tiny house project. So I also wanted to make the tiny house project. So I could like. It was like uh, making the tiny house project and the ice cream store project. I also got to know that uh, why we need the measurement. So we needed the measurement because if like when we build the ice cream store, we need the bricks how how it will be and if we miss one brick when we are building, the whole like it's, the it won't fit. And also the budget, if it goes wrong, we, it, should, it should be correct because we sometimes we lack troubles. And also the experiments that I did was uh, was new to me. I didn't know that it could how it could change. And when first when I was doing the math, I felt like why are we doing this math it's about ice cream project? So. Let's get started with 3D model I thought. But when I then ma'am told me that first we have to learn the measurement in man. If one thing goes wrong in the causing of the money, it will be, become a big trouble. So when we so that's why then I got to know why we are learning math. And then when we are, why are we doing all these experiments? It was only related to the ice cream project, nothing. No, we didn't do anything that was not related to the ice cream world. I also felt like my team, I was doing like architect's jobs. I, I felt I was building 
like with my team i felt i was really very for real house and the plan when i saw it, i was like it was the blueprint of the whole house that we are making it for a person that's how i felt in the tiny house project and here i felt again like again i felt like i was making a house for some some person because that they, they needed to live their their own house i felt like i was an architect with my team making it was like three teams in one whole place making three houses